What's happening, people? It's your boy, Brother Winslow, for another video. Today, I want to talk about black businesses, okay? It's something that I've noticed a ton of time going to black businesses, unfortunately. Not every single one, but too many. I'm a black business owner myself, okay? Working for myself since 2012, okay? Now, I just went, or I'm here in Philadelphia. I just went to a, I probably shouldn't even say what kind of, it was just, a, I would just say it was a restaurant. I don't want to try to implicate it or give his name away as one knows what I'm talking about. I went to a restaurant, a black restaurant, okay, here in the city. All right. And I never been there before. Um I'm looking at the, looking at the prices. They seem to be all right. seem to be all right. Okay. Um I walk in so I went, I think I went to the bathroom in this in this place where these chops were at, came back, heard somebody sitting down saying, wow, you know what I mean? Food is good. So I thought to myself, all right, well the food is good, that's what's up. So I go away in line, right? I'm asking people, where do, where do I stand? Um, somebody waiting there says, stand over here. So I go over there and then somebody working there says, no, stand over there. So I'm like, all right, everything's fine. Okay, so I'm sitting here waiting. Now I see they have a register. All right, so I'm sitting there as I'm expecting to be rung up, okay? <laughs> and what happens is that I must have been there for maybe four or five minutes and a woman sitting at the register, as you probably guessed it, didn't say anything to me at all. And she's giving people orders, giving people orders, giving people orders, okay? And I'm standing there looking at her and she's giving, giving out orders, giving out orders, giving out orders, okay? Now, somebody may say, well, maybe she didn't know that you didn't order yet, okay? Which I know some people are going to say, she didn't know that you didn't order yet, buddy. She didn't know who you were. This is the thing. I worked in food service and customer service for many, many years, since I was 13 years old. Okay, I worked many, many food service jobs, okay? many, many um, customer service jobs. If you see a face that you, that you don't recognize, you have to say, can I help you? You have to say that. You cannot just assume that a person is going to say something, okay? Because you know what happened? I sat there for such a long time, maybe eight minutes, I finally asked a woman that was looking at me and from time to time. I said, it was at the register. I said, do I have to wait till everyone's order is done for me to be able to place my order? She said, yes, I got some more orders to do. Okay, so at that, what did I do? I just left, okay? I just left. I didn't want to leave, but the thing is, the unprofessionalism of that was was something I don't want to be around, okay? And I've seen that so many times, it's ridiculous. It's like sometimes we feel like, I think some of us as black people feel like, well, this is a black business, therefore y'all just should, should spend your money here, okay? I must spend my money there. <laughs> I must spend my hard earned money there where you guys present the service that's comparable or above the Chinese guy and the white guy, okay? I don't go to Chinese stores, if you're wondering, okay? And I love to go to black businesses, but at the same time, all right, I'll go to the white guy, sad to say, over a black business that's acting like that. You understand? We gotta do better than this, y'all. We gotta do better than this. There's a lot of things that we gotta do better in. So I'll, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll, I'll say another thing. This is something that this business um, didn't do, okay? Which is revealing our prices, okay? Some black businesses that like their prices is, is a hidden secret. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm going here, this is the place where I'm supposed to eat at, and the prices were, were, were right there. Another thing is sometimes we try to make it hard for people to. We try to force people to buy the bundle, okay? We try to say, okay, well, you gotta buy all of this stuff so we can get more money out, folks. No, break it down. Like, for example, this place I wanted to go to, right? Some of their players is kind of high, okay? But it's same, compared to other places, I should say. But at the same time, I still want to support. But then I'm looking and I'm like, okay, well, I can buy single pieces of this stuff, all right? A lot of places don't allow you to do that. And they say, I could buy, so I said, okay, I could buy single pieces. These single pieces are higher than other places, but at least I can taste it, you understand what I'm saying? So as I was walking by towards, towards the place, one of them was like, oh, this food is so good. I'm thinking to myself, let me find out, okay? But the, the prices were there, they were, it was easy to see. It's just that you can lose people, I'm telling you guys, you can lose people with little unprofessional things like that. Now, now I'm sure that the person that was at the register was not the um, the owner of this um, of this business, of this, of this restaurant, okay? But this is something you have to let your employees know. When you see somebody come up, if you don't recognize their face, if you're or if you're unsure okay can i help you can i help you can i help you all right i literally cannot tell you how many times i've been in black business and i've seen unprofessionalism like that we have to nip that in the butt it makes it seem like, like once again like you don't care about you we just want your money you owe us your money you're black okay we're black so therefore you have to just give us our give us your money it doesn't make any sense okay it doesn't make any sense we got to think we got to do better than that y'all okay <laughs> we got to do better than that and i hate to see that okay and I'm telling you, I'm not the only, I'm sure I'm not the only person that has been in a situation that just, that just left because of that unprofessionalism, you know what I'm saying? 
So I want to thank you guys for watching. It's your boy, Brother Winston. Like the content. Make sure to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Um, wherever you are. If you, if you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments, y'all. So I know some people are going to hate and say this or that. So, oh, you can go to the white man, whatever. Listen, you can say whatever you want. I'm just telling you the truth. I know, okay, how to run a business. I have more than one business. Okay, I know how to treat people. I know how not to treat people. I know that, you know, your money in your pocket that you work for is not owed to me. Okay. If I present you a service that's right, then, of course, now the money that, that you have should go in my pockets, okay? Depending on whatever, I'll mark the price at if I provide you a service, okay? But if there's some dumb stuff going on, don't expect to get a dime from me, okay? We gotta do better. We can't complain about other races, but we ourselves are coming in below the standard, okay? God bless you, all. peace.